guys welcome to my youtube channel sap formula in last class we saw in detail about interview tips for sap sd in today's class let us see the importance of enterprise structure many of them know the configuration steps to create enterprise structure but most of them don't know the importance of enterprise structure most of them don't know why we create enterprise structure in this class let us understand the theory okay in this class we'll discuss only theory of enterprise structure let us understand the meaning of each organizational unit let us understand what is organization what is organizational unit each and everything let us discuss if any fresher or any graduated student remember this is the first step we do as a functional consultant as a sap sd functional consultant this is the first step we are going to do before creating enterprise structure in sap let us understand the theory part so that it will be it will help so that it will be helpful to create in sap before watching this video i would recommend everyone to subscribe my channel and please support now let us get into the actual topic sap sd enterprise structure have you ever gone to reliance digital see let us make this session very uh, interesting with uh, real examples so most of you have gone to reliance digital right so for example you are going into the reliance digital you want to purchase one laptop let us say you, you want to purchase a dell laptop as soon as you enter let us assume this is you and as soon as you enter you will see the employees of reliance digital now you will ask this person let me say this is person a you will ask this person that you want to buy dell laptop can you please explain the features of dell laptop now person a will not explain this person will call person b he will call person b and now person b will explain you about the dell features now you will change your mind that you will tell that okay i also want to compare the dell laptop with the, some other laptop so you can tell hp laptop now you will ask person b to explain the features of hp laptop now the person b will call person c he will call person c to explain the hp laptop features now person c will explain you the features of hp laptop so person b will explain the features of dell and person c will explain the features of hp laptop now you will also plan that you want to buy refrigerator coming next month so you want to have a look about refrigerator also now you will ask person c that can you please explain or show me the refrigerator its price its features now what this person will do this person will call person d he will call person d and now person d will explain you the features of refrigerator similarly you want to have a look for water filter also now person d will call person e now person e will explain you the water filter features why 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 can't person a explain you the features of all since he is working in reliance digital right he is a employee of reliance digital he know the features of each and every product he know the features of dell laptop hp laptop refrigerator water filter each and every product information person a knows but person a will not share the details with the customer so like this there is a chain why you want to know why let us see now we have something called sales office we have something called sales office and sales group very important concept sales office and sales group what is sales office see sales office is a physical location see this reliance digital is a physical location right as soon as you go you can see it's uh, you know its existence so i can say that this reliance digital is a sales office what is sales office sales office is a physical location remember it is a physical location where group of people work together to perform sales 
in interview if they ask what is sales office you should tell sales office is a physical location where group of people work together to perform sales now what is sales group what is sales group sales group is nothing but a team work together to achieve sales of particular product line i'm repeating again particular product line so that's why the this person a will not explain now person b is responsible for all the dell laptops person c is responsible for all the hp laptops and person d is responsible only for refrigerator and person e is responsible only for water filters so these are sales group what is sales group a team work together to achieve sales of particular product line okay so hope you understood the difference between sales office and sales group sales office is nothing but it is a physical location where where a group of people work together to perform sales what is sales group sales group is nothing but a group of team okay a group where they work on a particular product line so i'll give one more example you go to some canara bank okay let us assume this is a canara bank canara bank so in this canara bank we have three floors ground floor first floor and second floor okay g plus two we have so in ground floor they will offer personal loans in first floor they will offer home loans and in second floor they will offer gold loans so this canara bank is a sales office it is a physical location but what is this this sales group sales group 1 now this is sales group 2 and this is sales group 3 so group of people or a group responsible for particular product a particular product line so this is the best example i can give to differentiate between sales office and sales group you can take like this okay sales office and sales group so hope you understood this concept now there there should be someone who who has to take in charge of all this correct right so do you think a manager who sits in the reliance digital is the owner of this uh, entire uh, reliance no correct right he is not the owner of entire uh, reliance he is just an employee now all these sales activities or all these sales activity decisions will be taken by higher authority see in college how we had so we had uh, lectures lectures will report to hods and hod will report to vice principal vice principal will report to principal so there is something called hierarchy similarly these sales office okay similarly these sales office will report to sales organization sales organization now let us see what is sales organization this sales organization is a very important concept so before that let us see one thing now this reliance digital let us assume they are offering buy one get one or 20% discount or uh, if you purchase for 10000 you will get 10 to 15% cash back or if you have icici card you will get 5% cash back so all these discounts do you think a person or an employee who is sitting inside this sales office that is reliance digital will decide all this no he can't decide right who who is he to decide is he the owner of the company no he is just employee of the company then who will take all these decisions now if they want to promote the product whether they want to promote in newspaper or social media or through advertisements so do you think this manager who is sitting inside the sales office will take all these decisions no then who will take there is something called like i told sales organization see the organization will decide which organization sales organization so these sales organization it is a physical location it is like a office okay it is a physical location and a organizational unit which is responsible for all the sales and services which happens in the company 
like 20% discount buy one get one and how to reach out to customers how to sell the products what should uh, what should be the sales target all these decisions will be taken by sales organization these sales organization will inform the sales office that this should be the target for this year if you achieve this target you will get good bonus good ikes so all these decisions will be taken by sales organization and these sales organization play a very important role to get the profit for the company how they will get the profit by selling the company's product only they will get the pro profit now who is the key factor here or who is a culprit this sales organization this sales office this sales team all these people together they work and they sell company's product to bring the profit that's why sales organization is a very important role so in interview if they ask what is sales organization you should say it is a physical location and it is an organizational unit which is responsible or which takes all strategic decisions to sell company's product and company's services to the customers okay so in sales in sales organization like directors vps sales uh, delivery managers so uh, everyone will sit in the sales organization okay and suppose if there is any damage of the product you can't go inside this sales organization even the security will not allow the security will tell that you have to go to sales office if you want to return the product okay so you can't go into the sales organization because only higher level authorities or higher organization uh, management people will sit and work here okay and who is responsible so we will see all this who is responsible to create sales organization sap sd consultant is responsible to create sales organization now a, a question arises that how many sales organization in sap we need to create it all depends upon the company suppose let us take reliance Digi reliance digital if we want to implement sap to reliance digital then they will tell how many sales organization they want see reliance digital what they have they uh, reliance uh, enterprise so they have they are into uh, reliance digital now they are into reliance fresh they are into reliance smart point so like this they are into many business okay so whether they want so they might uh, let us take only three examples suppose the uh, reliance company that company is into reliance digital reliance fresh and reliance reliance smart points now company will tell that i want only one sales organization for each business units so i will create one sales organization for this unit and one sales organization for reliance fresh and one sales organization for reliance smart point so here i have mentioned right so based on the if the company is into export sales and domestic sales then we can have multiple sales organization if the company or based on the region wise north south east west so if they want to classify their sales organization based on the region wise they can have n number of sales organization and based on the region of manufacturing plant let us say the sales organization is in delhi but the, the manufacturing plant is in Kanyakumari or Tamil Nadu or Bengaluru then based on the region of manufacturing plant they will decide that they want one sales organization so like this SAP has given so flexibility to create n number of sales organization based on the client requirement based on the client requirement and based on the client business process okay now these sales office will report to sales organization this sales organization will give sales target uh, what percentage of discount what is the credit limit and how to promote their products every decisions will be taken by the sales organization